The presentation I'm making today is about the impact of pneumococcal vaccine in the Gambia. The project has been conducted in Bassa in the rural area. The funders for the project have been Pneumo ADIP, Gates Foundation as well as MRC. The project started in 2008 and I'm reporting information to 2016. We've introduced the vaccine through the government program in 2009 with a seven valent vaccine. In 2011, a 13 valent vaccine was replacing the seven valent vaccine. We've done population-based surveillance in the Basse DSS area during this time using standardised procedures and we found when we compared the first two years of surveillance to the final two years of surveillance that invasive pneumococcal disease which is where you actually have the bacteria present in the blood or around the brain reduced in young children by 55 percent vaccine type invasive disease fell by 90 percent non-vaccine type disease has not changed substantially herd protection with reductions of invasive disease in older children and adults has also started to appear. When we look at pneumonia, we have seen a reduction in consolidation on x-rays, which is corresponding to quite severe pneumonia, of around 25% in children. We've seen reductions in pneumococcal pneumonia of around 60%. And then when we look at very severe pneumonia with oxygen saturation less than seven, sorry less than 90%, reductions have been around 70%. We've also calculated the costs of these diseases. If you have outpatient pneumonia, it's around $5. Inpatient pneumonia, it's $50. Sepsis caused by pneumococcus is around $50 and meningitis is around $120. So we're pleased to report that the vaccine is reducing disease and we're hoping that we're good economic benefits for the country.